is one of my favorites. This is called the Cartesian Diver. And what I like about this is that it's really, really simple and you can use it as a problem solving activity with your class. So I'm going to squeeze this bottle and as I put pressure on it, we'll see my diver sinks. And when I release the pressure, he floats back up. So the question is, why? Why is this happening? So this is something that the class can make themselves and they can actually look at the dropper. You can do this with uh, tomato ketchup sachets or mayonnaise sachets and attach a few paper clips to weight them down a little bit. But uh, I like to use the dropper when I'm teaching this because you can see inside it. So if you look very closely as I squeeze, you'll see there's a little, little pocket of air inside in the dropper. And as I apply the pressure to the outside of the bottle, the little pocket of air compresses because air is a gas and gas can expand to take up as much space as it has is offered or it can also compress into very small spaces. So it's useful for teaching that. So we squeeze it and it compresses and that changes the density. So we might write up there density equals mass over volume and we can use that then to look at how altering the volume of the gas changes the density of our little diver. This Cartesian diver experiment is also a nice way of showing Boyle's law that when you increase the pressure, the volume can decrease. So it has a number of applications for both teaching density and then the, the gas laws.